TikTok is making me realize that I think I actually have curly hair. So I'm gonna wash my hair with these and then I'm only- If you want to know how I went from this to this, then keep on watching. This is what my hair looked like just before I did my final wash. Dahil sinisipag ako today, I will be sharing with you my journey when I finally decided to embrace my curls. I think the very first step should be joining a group. Yung, uh, a curly girl group, specifically these ones. And when you are finally accepted in the group, it is extremely important for you to read through the information first. Kasi we have a lot of expectation, siyempre. There is actually a lot of information for you to take in, pero try not to be discouraged because after you are able to understand completely um, what it takes to, you know, try to embrace your natural curls, I guarantee you, it'll all be worth it. Among the two groups that I've mentioned, I highly suggest na you make it your top priority to join this group. They only accept new joiners every first Monday of the month. So please try to set up a reminder and talagang abangan nyo. The reason why I'm putting a lot of emphasis on this because this group has the most organized beginner's guide ever. The moment that you join this group and the moment that you try to um, embark on this journey, well, journey, sobrang daming terminologies as in there's lots of things that you need to do first like what curl type you have, what kind of hair do you have, other terminologies such as yung sa routine which is yung mga um, wash, pre-poo, low-poo, switch to condition, praying hands method. So there are a lot of things that you need to be familiar with but with the help of the beginner's guide and the actual course that uh, is in the group, it'll make things a lot easier for you. You just have to have the discipline to actually complete the course. So if any one of you is thinking na mas madali ang mag-maintain ng curly hair, you are wrong. Well, there are certain times wherein it might be easier to have curly hair, uh, but it really depends on the mood of your hair. Let me go back to how I started this um, journey for me. After going through the course, I know that the first thing that I need to do is do a final wash. In my final wash, um, these are the products that I used. And I will be linking the YouTube video on the description box, you know, exactly what I followed. As a curly, my entire life, I have been using the wrong products for my hair. So, a final wash is needed in order to get rid of all of the product buildup and to just start with a clean slate. So, the first step is shampooing your hair using a dishwashing liquid. Yes, you heard me right. It's Joy dishwashing liquid. Use yung yellow or yung green na variant kasi yung blue might be too harsh for the hair. And the reason why that is being used is, well, you're only going to be using it one time only just for this final wash and again the purpose is to get rid of all of the product buildup kasi yung silicone yung mga galing sa conditioner na yung mga cream silk yung mga usual conditioner natin this is something that is not easily removed by a regular shampoo so stronger ingredients are needed and it's exactly what's in a dishwashing liquid so shampoo your hair like you would normally do it and then rinse it off after that you would then use a deep conditioner, which is this one. Yan. Yan specifically ang Curly Girl approved product. Just a reminder, there is a list of Curly Girl approved products. Shampoo, conditioner, leave-in conditioner, deep conditioner, and all that. 
so there is an entire album dedicated for that uh, for you to you know have a reference after shampooing your hair with the dishwashing liquid obviously you would feel that it's extremely dry that's why the next step would be using a deep conditioner this what i used and i applied it to my hair from the roots until the tip of my hair and then i tied my hair in a bun and then i put on a shower cap uh, ideally it's better to do it that way because putting a shower cap on your hair while you have deep conditioner it would mean that it would have a little bit of heat in there for the deep conditioner to work better you would leave it on your hair for around 15 to 20 minutes i left mine for around 20 minutes you don't want to leave it for too long because some hair well, some types of hair are a little too sensitive to protein so well as you go along the the course you'd be familiar with moisture and protein overload sa hair but that's for a topic for that's a topic for next time na. after 20 minutes what i did i rinsed off the deep conditioner completely and thoroughly and then while i was doing so i was squishing my hair because i had my hair i flipped my hair in front because i was squishing my hair as i was rinsing the deep conditioner and then the next step would be using a regular conditioner this is the one that i use now this conditioner is only meant to be left sa hair for maybe around 3 to 5 minutes. So I did mine for around 3 minutes and while I applied, I I was applying it sa hair ko, I, I still had my hair, you know, flipped over, aganon. I was doing the switch to condition method or yung you are scrunching your hair like this, ganun siya. And then you would um, squish it when you're at the roots of your hair, like a pulsing motion. Parang ganun. And you'd hear the actual squish when you do that. The reason behind switch to condish is being done, you method name is being done, is to make sure that your hair is um, hydrated and that it is completely, you know, drinking up the conditioner and then the water. So when you do that, you are hydrating your hair. Surprisingly, this kind of conditioner is not sticky. It's not heavy sa hair and does not did not give me any sticky feeling at all. So since I did not have a leave-in conditioner with me, what I did was I rinsed off yung regular conditioner completely, but then I dipped the tips of my hair sa isang sasatao na I put a little bit of water and yung same conditioner and then I used it as a leave-in conditioner. Sinoso ko lang yung dulo ng hair ko dun. And then I did the same thing. I did yung ano, um, switch to condish, um, scrunching method. And actually, that's the one that helps form yung curl smoke. So that's very important for you to do. Other people would do that for like 5 minutes, 10 minutes. Pero sabi masakat sa likod. But I only did it for a couple of minutes and I already saw, you know, yung curls forming. And after that, while your hair is still soaking wet, well, at least you have um, squeezed out some of the excess water by doing the swish to condish method. Um, this is the time that you would put yung hair gel, yung styler, which is for me, this is what I use. Again, surprisingly, hindi siya malagkit because it is water-based and you're only gonna put a small amount anyway. Saka mga ganito per section. After putting or applying uh, yung hair gel, I all I did the swish the, the scrunching method one more time. And then next would be getting a microfiber towel. That is very important for you for you to use a microfiber towel or a regular cotton t-shirt, not yung regular body towels natin because that is too drying sa hair. So get that and then uh, Again, uh, scrunch your hair to try to get rid of your excess um, water. And then after doing so, you're gonna plop your hair. So I will be inserting video somewhere here. I also did that on a separate, you know, I also filmed that on a separate time. So hopefully that helps. And I plopped my hair for around 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, that's when I try to diffuse it. And since I did not have my own diffuser just yet, um, I DIY'd it by using a regular strainer and my uh, regular blow dryer. 
So I'll show you yung what I did again in, in these clips. And that's it. After I posted a story of my natural curls, a lot of people or a lot of my friends have been had been messaging me and asking, did I get my hair permed? Uh, what I did to get the curls? Uh, and they said that the curls looked really good. But in reality, so videos lang siya maganda. Well, I had my hair colored in the past. And since I am still transitioning, obviously, I can't really expect that I would have, you know, great, bouncy, healthy curls right away. In reality, these these curls are actually dry. So, I, well, for different kinds of hair, different types, it would take time until my hair would just, you know, be healthy again. I had been using the wrong products with my hair for the longest time. And most likely, of course, and I have to expect that it's not gonna be that easy to bounce back from all of that damage. But yeah, I'm my natural curls. All my life, I did not know. Okay, I grew up knowing that. The kind of hair I had was not really manageable. All my life, I only knew that my hair was buhaghag and wavy and unmanageable. And the only way I can manage it would either be having it rebonded or by flat ironing it. It was about five years ago that I decided to stop having my hair rebonded because it was straight sa face ko and I didn't like the way I looked, you know, thinner. So. I decided to stop but I did not stop ironing my hair whenever I wanted to go out and let my hair down so my hair has been under constant you know torture ever since and then I stumbled upon this video on TikTok and when I saw her hair I was like parehas na parehas kami ng buhok ni ate ano na could I really have curls could I? So, I didn't really think much of it back then. I just saved it to favorites ko and then moved on. But then, I saw my cousin on Facebook. Her post was about embracing her curls. Well, dun ko naisip, oh nga naman, curly hair runs in our family. That's when I asked her to invite me to yung curly groups that she's a part of. And then that's when I started reading and reading. It took me a while before I actually had, you know, the the guts and the courage to do my final wash. Ever since, you know, I, I posted those stories, frequently asked questions would be, Mahirap ba yung routine na ginagawa mo? For me, I would say na sakto lang. Uh, medyo mahirap siya on actual wash days. Kasi yung wash days, that's when you have all of the steps that you have to follow. But yung in-between wash days, yung para mag co-wash ka lang, yung conditioner wash ka lang. It's not really, you know, hindi, hindi masyadong, masyadong may effort. Pero comparing it to what I'm used to doing, uh, I would rather do this routine than, you know, having my blow drying my hair and then ironing it. It's just too much for me. Another one asked about, I have small waves sa hair ko. Do you think I'm gonna be able to achieve those kinds of curls? We have different curls, that's for sure. Iba iba yung hair types natin. And some people would have just, you know, regular waves and some would have tight curls. Pero what I learned and what I observed is that yung actual method and yung products that you use play a really big part in forming your curls. When you do the routine properly, I guess you'd get the most out of it. Another question is, Hindi ba masisira yung hair ko? Kapag nag-try ako ng routine na yan, I do the final wash and then eventually I'd realize that I don't I don't have the, you know, the energy. <laughs> I would decide na hindi ko kaya yung panindigan yung routine and I just wanna go back to my old, you know, routine, shampoo and conditioner and all that. I don't think na masisira yung hair ng kahit sino man who would use um, the, uh, like, 
curly hair products because the products that we are using are actually healthier. There are no harsh chemicals, there are no sulfate, there are no silicone. So, at any time that you would decide that you would want to go back to your old hair routine, then I don't think there's going to be any problem. That is it. So, to my fellow curlies out there, or my fellow wavies, wavies na pala. My fellow wavies and curlies, I hope that you find this video helpful. And if you do, please like, share, and subscribe if you want to. And see you on my next video. Bye! My darling, I love you, 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 I love you.